What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here, playing some Evolve, but I want to talk to you guys about a different game, one that will be coming out very shortly, that a lot of people are excited about and a lot of people are hating on. And uh, before it comes out, I like to stay kind of back, unless I see something that's a red flag to me, I usually try to hold my criticisms uh, of a game until I actually get my hands on it. But the game I'm talking about is The Order 1886. Uh, the Order 1886 is... It was talked about, you know, during the PlayStation 4's initial reveal. You know, this game would be a launch title, so it, it's taken well over another year. You know, it's been delayed, and they've been working on this game. And you know, early uh, previews of the game said that it, it did not perform well, that the engine needed work. The game looked great, but it needed a lot of work. And uh, over the last year, I've heard all those early previewers turn around and say, "Wow, it's an amazing game. It plays really well. It feels really well." Now, there's a lot of people on YouTube who make their living by hating, you know, just, I hate, I hate, I hate. And and some of these guys hate shit before it even hits the shelves. Um, and uh, I don't know for sure, you know, whether or not this game is going to be good or bad, but I know it looks phenomenal. That's one thing I know for sure. Uh, I've seen some sections of the gameplay that do look, you know, like it might, might be some quick time. Uh, but that's a part of playing video games. And, uh, you know, for what this game appears to be, it, it's carving out its own niche. It looks like one of the most phenomenal, the most phenomenal graphically intensive games I've ever seen. The, the way the, the world looks, it kind of reminds me of um, uh, what is it called? Uh, PT, you know, the, the playable trailer made by Konami and uh, Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro. That world, that game world, looks so real and photorealistic. This game actually looks very similar to that. So on the graphics front alone, I would give this game a ten. I don't know just how well it's going to work as far as the third person shooting goes, but it does look fun. Now, there's people out there going to, you know, hate and just say all kinds of crazy shit about the game before it even comes out. But one of the rumors that's out right now is that this game is only three hours long. Uh, and the reason I laugh is because a few, like two weeks ago, I watched a leaked video uh, by a guy who played over an hour of the game. And uh, so that alone lets me know that the game uh, definitely is longer than three hours. But the thing is, people people hate, man. It's like console hate or developer hate. You're just gonna hate just because you don't have it or because you don't you don't like it. You're gonna hate on it before the game even comes out. There's no way possible this game is a three-hour game at all. On DualShockers.com, uh, one of their latest stories it says the Order 1886. Early user reports over 12 hours of gameplay, right? And so, on this little article, if you go all the way down to the bottom of the article, this is their ending paragraph. It says, Incidentally, it boggles my mind that someone could even just conceive that a game like The Order 1886 could last three hours. Especially since we know that the first chapter alone is about an hour long, and the fact that the developers already denied the possibility of such a short playtime. Let's not even think about writing an actual article spreading such a ridiculous claim. People are stupid. Uh, there, there's just a bunch of people out there who like to hate on things. Uh, some people just get on YouTube and troll. Some people like to just spread lies. I personally hope the game does phenomenal. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it looks like a new experience. It looks Gears of War-esque, you know, but it looks like it's a whole new take, a different alternate reality. And uh, I like the Underworld movies and everything but like the Lycan one. I like the Underworld movies and I like these Lycans. I think it's a pretty creepy atmosphere. Not only going against these monsters, going against the government and being this secret sect of, I guess, super soldiers back in 1886. You guys let me know what you think. Did you believe the rumor that this game is only three hours or five hours? Are you looking forward to the Order 1886? Is that on your radar or are you guys just going straight to Bloodborne? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for so much support. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.